a light bulb went on in my head. Stop talking about housing. This is economic infrastructure for a prosperous country. What is the future for cities? Do you want to learn more about them? Do you want to know how others think about them? Do you want to be part of the conversation that this is the right place? Welcome to What is the Future for Cities podcast. I will interview Robert Prodalin, Director of Housing All Australians. We will talk about his vision for the future of cities, capitalism versus caring for the vulnerable, housing affordability, and many more. Without having the fundamental need of an individual human being met, which is food and shelter, you cannot become a productive citizen of society and you become a welfare dependent because the unintended consequences of a lack of shelter manifest themselves in physical and mental health, family violence, affecting the justice system, the policing system, and ultimately ending up in long-term welfare. That becomes a drain on society. And one of the other pillars that I touched on earlier is that we've done some economic studies because we want to reposition this in an economic framework, as I mentioned earlier. So the first thing we did was we conducted an economic study by SGS Economics on what is the long-term cost to Australia of not building sufficient social, affordable and public housing. The annual cost in 2032 in today dollars, additional money is an extra 25 billion annum. And with the current blowouts of costing of NDIS and all the other stuff, as a father, I'm concerned that in 2032, taxpayers will not be able to afford the additional 25 billion and growing. And what happens? Our values get watered down because we can't afford to look after vulnerable people. Find out more in episode 264 with Robert Pradolin on the What is the Future for Cities podcast.